Welcome to the educational e-platform for training in neurological physiotherapy of the Faculty of Physiotherapy of the University of Valencia. In this video, we will talk about muscle rigidity in Parkinson's disease, and we will show a set of basic stretches to counteract this sign. In this video, we will show a set of self-assisted stretches for people with Parkinson's disease to do on their own. These stretches should become part of the person's daily routine, performing them after waking up in the morning and before going to sleep at night. We will give them the indication that the stretching is well performed when tension in the muscle is noticed, without triggering pain, as this could cause the opposite effect to the change in length. The patient will be sitting, with feet resting on the floor and with an upright position, with the eyes looking forward and not downwards. Shoulders should be positioned backwards and downwards. Once the initial tension is no longer perceived, the head will be tilted to one side while trying to keep the shoulder on the opposite side, in this case the right, downwards. Next, the lowering of the shoulder is combined with a rotation of the head to the opposite side. To further increase muscle tension, head rotation will be combined with neck flexion. The same exercise is repeated but the patient uses the hand opposite to the stretching to increase the inclination and rotation of the head. In the next stretching, the patient places her hands behind the head, trying to keep the neck in a neutral position. We will indicate that elbows should go backwards and maintain the position to stretch the pectoral muscles. A family member can assist in the stretching by pulling the elbows. To perform a general stretching of the trunk in rotation, the patient brings her hands towards the opposite hip. One hand will go in front and the other hand behind towards the hip, while trying to maintain an upright position. Continuing with the trunk stretching, the person will be sitting in the front half of the seat without resting her back on the backrest. She will lean towards lateral flexion of the trunk while leaving the arm on the same side outside the support and the opposite arm will move upwards over the head. This same stretching can be repeated in a supine position, bringing the knees to one side and the arms to the other, so there is an opposite rotation between the shoulder and pelvic girdles. Next, sitting in the chair with the back on the backrest, the person extends the shoulders and brings the arms backwards, trying that the hands touch for applying a greater elongation of the shoulder flexors and pectoral muscles. Consecutively, the patient can flex the shoulders, bringing the arms above her head and backwards while performing an extension of her head. 
keeping the seated position but now in the front part of the chair without back support, the person will drag the foot under the seat, trying not to lift the heel of the ground to stretch the plantar flexor muscles. The person stands in front of a wall, preferably with some support for the hands. The abdominal muscles should be stretched, accompanied by an extension of the head. We can also achieve the same effect with a therapy ball, holding it with the back against the wall, while bending the arms above the head and extending the neck. To continue stretching pectoral muscle in standing position, the person rests the arm against a wall as seen in the image, with external rotation of the shoulder. Muscle tension is exerted when the patient turns the body outwards, leaving the elbow as a fixed point and pushing the shoulder inward. For stretching lower limbs in standing position, the person leans against a wall and takes a step back. With the leg that is close to the wall, they bend the knee until they find the surface. The tension should be felt in the posterior muscles of the leg that is left behind. Thank you for using this e-platform.